Hello, Singapore. It's Iggy here from the Investing Iguana, ready to guide you through the vibrant world of investment funds. Today's episode is a special one, especially for my fellow Singaporeans looking to make their money work smarter. In Singaporeans' Guide to Investment Funds, Making Your Money Work for You, I'll be unraveling the essentials of investment funds from stocks and bonds to balanced funds. Whether you're a newbie investor or someone looking to diversify your portfolio, this video is your one-stop guide. We're going to explore how these funds operate, their benefits, and the things to watch out for. So, stay tuned to uncover how you can navigate the investment fund landscape in Singapore and potentially boost your financial growth. In the ever-changing landscape of investing, one of the most significant challenges for investors, particularly those in Singapore, is deciding where to allocate their capital. The array of options is extensive from the vibrant stock market teeming with potential high reward opportunities to the relative stability offered by bonds, the timeless allure of gold, or even unconventional choices like agricultural commodities such as corn. Navigating these options can often feel like traversing a labyrinth, especially when considering the multitude of choices within each asset class. Selecting the right stock or bond from the myriad of options can be an intimidating task, requiring extensive research, market knowledge, and risk assessment. For those who prefer to bypass this intricate decision-making process or are seeking a simpler method of investing in a diverse range of assets, an investment fund, also known as a mutual fund, could be the ideal solution. Investment funds pool money from multiple investors to invest in a diversified portfolio of stocks, bonds, or other assets. They are managed by professional fund managers who make investment decisions based on rigorous research and strategic planning. This allows individual investors to own a wide variety of assets, which might be difficult to achieve independently, thereby spreading the risk and potentially increasing the chances of returns. In the context of Singapore, an investment fund operates as a collective investment scheme where your money is pooled together with that of other investors. This pool of funds is then managed by a professional fund manager who invests it across a variety of assets such as stocks, bonds, and even fixed deposits. The specific combination of these investments, also known as the investment portfolio, determines both your potential return and the level of risk involved. One of the key advantages of investment funds is that they offer a hands-off investment experience. As an investor, you don't need to actively manage your investments or keep track of market trends. This is taken care of by the fund manager, who is a licensed professional with expertise in financial markets and investment strategies. These fund managers are regulated by financial authorities, ensuring that they adhere to certain standards and regulations, which brings an added layer of security and peace of mind for investors. Furthermore, investment funds often provide access to a range of assets that might otherwise be out of reach for individual investors. This could be due to the high cost of certain investments or their limited availability. By pooling resources, investment funds can invest in these assets, thereby offering investors the opportunity to diversify their portfolio and potentially enhance their returns. Therefore, in simple terms, investment funds in Singapore offer a convenient and accessible way for investors to grow their wealth. They provide a diversified investment portfolio managed by professionals, potentially higher returns, and a hands-off investment experience. This makes them an attractive option for both novice and experienced investors. As of the end of 2022, the world had about 137,892 regulated mutual funds worth an impressive 60.1 trillion US dollars. These funds vary widely in their strategy, risk, and potential return, reflecting the diverse investment goals and risk tolerance of investors. Broadly, these mutual funds are categorized by the types of assets they invest in. These assets can range from stocks and bonds to money market instruments, real estate, and more. Each type of fund has its own risk and return characteristics and is designed to meet specific investment objectives. For instance, equity funds invest primarily in stocks and aim for capital appreciation, but they also carry higher risk. Bond funds, on the other hand, invest in debt securities and aim to provide regular income with lower risk compared to equity funds. 
Balanced or hybrid funds invest in a mix of stocks and bonds to balance the trade-off between risk and return. The vast number of mutual funds and the staggering amount of assets they manage underscore the significant role they play in global financial markets. They provide investors with a convenient way to diversify their portfolios, gain exposure to a wide range of assets, and potentially earn returns that align with their investment goals. Stock or equity funds are a type of mutual fund that primarily invests in stocks. The investment goals of these funds can vary widely depending on the fund strategy and the risk tolerance of its investors. Some equity funds aim for aggressive growth. These funds typically invest in high-risk tech stocks or other sectors with high growth potential. The goal here is to achieve substantial capital appreciation over time. However, the high potential for returns comes with a higher level of risk as these sectors can be volatile and susceptible to market fluctuations. On the other hand, some equity funds adopt a more balanced approach. These funds aim to provide steady returns while minimizing risk. They achieve this balance by diversifying their investments across a variety of sectors and companies. This diversification helps to spread the risk and can provide a more stable return over time. There are also equity funds that focus on specific sectors or regions. For example, a fund might focus on the energy sector in Singapore or companies in the Asian market. These funds allow investors to gain exposure to specific markets or sectors that they believe have strong growth potential. In summary, Equity funds offer a range of investment strategies to suit different investor profiles. Whether you're a risk taker looking for high growth or a conservative investor seeking steady returns, there's likely an equity fund that fits your investment goals. Here are some examples of Singapore-based stock slash equity funds. Nico Asset Management Singapore Dividend Equity Fund 1, managed by Lai Yu Huan and Kenneth Tang, this fund focuses on dividend-paying stocks. As of October 2023, the fund returned 3.43%. Investec GSF Global Franchise Fund 3, managed by Clyde Rosso, this fund has a significant allocation to the information technology sector. The fund returned 11.8% year-to-date, YDD, as of December 19, 2023. Threadneedle Global Select Fund 3, managed by Neil Robson, this fund has a diversified portfolio with exposure to information technology, healthcare, and communication services. The fund returned 6.07% over three months ending November 15, 2023. Debt, bond, or fixed income funds are a type of mutual fund that primarily invests in bonds and other fixed income assets. These assets include government bonds, corporate bonds, treasury bills, and other securities that pay a fixed rate of return. The main goal of these funds is to provide investors with a steady stream of income over time. This is achieved through the regular interest payments that the bonds and other fixed income assets in the fund's portfolio generate. Because these payments are typically fixed and predictable, these funds can provide a reliable source of income for investors. Compared to equity funds, which invest in stocks, debt funds typically come with lower levels of risk. This is because bonds and other fixed income assets are generally considered to be safer investments than stocks. They are less likely to be affected by market volatility and fluctuations in stock prices. As a result, the value of a debt fund is usually more stable than that of an equity fund. However, the lower risk associated with debt funds also means that they usually offer lower potential returns compared to equity funds. This is because they invest primarily in bonds and other fixed income securities, which are generally considered to be more stable and less volatile than stocks. As a result, the potential for losses is usually lower with debt funds, making them a popular choice for conservative investors or those seeking to preserve their capital. Equity funds, which invest in stocks, have the potential for higher returns due to the possibility of capital appreciation if the value of the stocks in the portfolio increases. However, this comes with a higher level of risk as stock prices can be volatile and can decrease in value. In essence, the choice between debt funds and equity funds often comes down to an individual investor's risk tolerance, investment goals, and time horizon. 
Those seeking higher returns and willing to accept higher risk might lean towards equity funds, while those seeking stable income and preservation of capital might prefer debt funds. It's important for investors to understand these trade-offs when making investment decisions. Here are two examples of Singapore-based debt, bond, or fixed income funds along with their performance in 2023. Fullerton Short-Term Interest Rate Fund. This fund returned 1.42% over a year ending October 2023. The NAV as of November 27, 2023 was SGD 1.14. Nico AM Horizon Singapore Fixed Income Enhanced Fund. This fund returned 3.32% over a year ending October 2023. The NAV as of November 30th, 2023 was SGD 1.59. Cash management or money market funds are a type of mutual fund that invests in short-term, highly liquid assets such as treasury bills, commercial paper, and certificates of deposit. These funds are designed to offer investors a safe place to invest money that can be readily accessed, making them an ideal choice for short-term financial goals. One of the key features of these funds is their safety. The assets they invest in are typically low risk, which means the chance of losing money is minimal. This makes them one of the safest investment options available. However, this safety comes at a cost. Because they invest in low-risk assets, money market funds typically offer minimal returns. The interest rates on the assets they invest in are often low, especially compared to riskier investments like stocks. However, the returns are usually slightly better than those offered by regular savings accounts. In summary, cash management or money market funds are a safe and liquid investment option that can be ideal for short-term financial goals. While their returns are minimal, they offer a level of safety and liquidity that can be attractive to conservative investors or those needing short-term access to their funds. Here are two examples of Singapore-based cash management slash money market funds along with their performance in 2023. Endowas Cash Smart Endowas offers three cash management accounts under its Cash Smart series that cater to different risk appetites and cash management needs. As of the end of Q2 2023, the Cash Smart Secure, Cash Smart Enhanced, and Cash Smart Ultra had returned 0.6%, 0.81%, and 1.16% year to date, YDD, respectively. Money Owl Wisaver Money Owl's Wisaver is a cash management account that taps into the Fullerton Cash Fund, which is a money market fund that invests in a portfolio of Singapore dollar fixed deposits. As of November 3, 2023, the five-day moving average yield was 4.12%. Balanced funds, also known as hybrid funds, are a type of mutual fund that invests in a mix of stocks and fixed-income securities such as bonds. The goal of these funds is to strike a balance between the potential for high returns and the stability of steady income. On one hand, the portion of the fund invested in stocks offers the potential for capital appreciation. Stocks, while riskier, have the potential for higher returns compared to most fixed-income securities. This part of the portfolio aims to increase the fund's value over time, contributing to the overall growth of the investment. On the other hand, the portion of the fund invested in fixed-income securities aims to provide steady income. Bonds and other fixed-income securities pay regular interest, providing a consistent income stream. This part of the portfolio helps to offset the volatility of the stock market and provides a level of stability to the fund. By investing in both stocks and bonds, balanced funds aim to provide a level of risk mitigation. If one asset class is performing poorly, the other may be performing well, helping to offset potential losses. This diversification can make balanced funds a suitable choice for investors looking for a mix of growth and income in their portfolio. In summary, balanced funds offer a blend of potential stock gains and steady bond returns, aiming to balance risk and reward for investors. They can be an attractive option for those seeking both capital appreciation and regular income from their investments. An example of a local balanced fund is Lion Global Singapore Balanced Fund. The year-to-date, YDD, performance of this fund is 0.7039% as of November 9, 2023.
Deciding on the right Singapore-based fund for your investment portfolio hinges on several key factors, your financial goals, risk tolerance, and investment horizon. If you're aiming for long-term growth and can handle market fluctuations, Singapore equity index funds, such as those tracking the Straits Times Index, STI, could be a solid choice. They offer exposure to the top companies in the Singapore market but come with higher volatility. On the other hand, if you seek more stable returns and are risk-averse, Singapore bond funds, which invest in government or corporate bonds, might be more suitable. They typically offer lower returns, but with reduced risk. For those looking for a balanced approach, Singapore balanced funds, which invest in a mix of stocks and bonds, might be the ideal middle ground, offering the potential for moderate growth while mitigating risks. Ultimately, the best choice aligns with your financial objectives, risk comfort, and investment timeline. Consulting with a financial advisor can also provide personalized insights based on your individual circumstances. And that's a wrap on our journey through the world of investment funds right here in Singapore. I hope this guide has illuminated the path for you to make informed and savvy investment choices. Remember, understanding your options is the first step to making your money work for you. If you found this video helpful, do hit that like button. It helps more Singaporeans like you find this content. Don't forget to subscribe to the Investing Iguana for more insights into making smart financial moves. Your support means we can continue bringing valuable content tailored just for you. Until next time, keep your investments smart, stay informed, and let's all grow our wealth together. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next video.